क्वेश्चन टू ऑफ दिस एक्सरसाइज इज फ्रॉम दिस एंशियंट मैथमेटिकल टेक्स्ट कॉल्ड बीजा गणिता रिटर्न बाय भास्कर टू अ मैथमेटिशियन फ्रॉम मिडीवल इंडिया आई थिंक ही लिव्ड इन द ट्वेल्थ सेंचुरी एडी एंड ही वॉज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट प्रोमिनेंट मैथमेटिशियन ऑफ दैट टाइम नाउ हेयर इज वॉट द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट सेज Uh, it's a conversation between two friends one says give me a 100 friend i shall then become twice as rich as you then the other one says the other one replies if you give me 10 i shall be six times as rich as you and then the problem says tell me what is the amount of their respective capital now this is one of those problems that seems quite complicated when you read it for the first time I guess that's why the problem setters have given a hint also but let's ignore the hint and let's see how we can model this problem step by step the key is to deconstruct each part of the problem statement thinking carefully at each step and remember that while this may seem difficult all it requires is a little bit of logical thinking so here we go let's draw a visual to represent the conversation between the two friends so let's say that the two friends let's call them a and b and let's say that the initial capital that they have is or the original capital that they have is x and y rupees respectively now the first part of the problem statement is when the first friend is saying give me a 100 and i shall become twice as rich as you so a is saying give me a 100 rupees from your capital and i will become twice as rich as you so what will the situation look like if that happens so in that case a's capital will increase by 100 so it will become x plus 100 and but b's capital will go down so b's capital or b's money will be now y minus 100 and in this situation uh a's capital will be twice of b's capital so we can write an equation based on this so we can say that x plus 100 is equal to 2 times y minus 100 so this gives us our first equation in x and y let's expand it and write it in standard form so we have x plus 100 is equal to 2y minus 200 or x minus 2y plus 300 is equal to 0 so this is equation let's call it equation 1 in x and y now the second part of the problem statement says uh, is when the second friend says if you give me 10 i shall be six times as rich as you so in this case b is saying give me 10 rupees and i will be six times as rich as you so in this case the situation will look like this if a gives 10 rupees to b a's capital will go down by 10 rupees and b's capital will go up by 10 rupees and now b will be twice uh, six times as rich as a so in this case y plus 10 will be six times of x minus 10 so this gives us our second equation in x and y so let's write it in standard form y plus 10 is equal to 6x minus 60 or 6x minus y minus 70 equal to zero so this let's call it the let's call it equation 2 this is the second equation in x and y now we have these two equations in x and y all we need to do is to solve them and find the values of x and y so let's use elimination to solve this pair the coefficient of y in the first equation is minus 2 in the second equation is minus 1 so let me multiply the second equation by 2 so let me do 2 times the second equation and this will make the equation into 12x minus 2y minus 140 equal to 0 and let's call this equation 3 and now what i can do is i can subtract equation 1 and equation 3 so i can do 3 minus 1 what will that do that will eliminate the y terms and on the lhs i will have 12x minus x so 12x minus x and i will have minus 140 and i will have minus 300 equal to 0 and this means that 11x is equal to 440 or x is equal to 440 by 
11 which is 40 and now that I have the value of x I can find the value of y by substituting this into an equation so let's sub substitute the value of x into the first equation so what will we get we will get x minus 2y or 40 minus 2y plus 300 equal to 0 and from here I get 2y is equal to 340 or y is equal to 170. So what we have concluded is that x is 40 and y is 170 which means that the original money that x has is rupees 40 and the original money that y has is rupees 170. So let's see if this makes sense. So if if b gives 100 rupees to a what will happen if b gives 100 rupees to a in this case a's capital will become rupees 140 and b's capital will reduce to rupees 70 and we see that now a is twice as rich as b on the other hand if a gives 10 rupees to b if a gives 10 rupees to b then in this case a's capital becomes 30 rupees and B's capital becomes 170 plus 10 or 180 rupees and now we see that B is six times as rich as A. So in both cases uh, this aligns with what is told to us in the problem statement. So our answer is correct A's initial capital A's capital is rupees 40 and B's capital is rupees 170. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams Explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.